Hey guys, Sacrifice Eugene here back with a video. So, talking about E3 2018, you know what to expect, especially for PlayStation. This is gonna be like my main topic about PlayStation. So the this is an article from Newsweek. Um, make sure you subscribe to them. Um, the four major first party games Sony will present at E3 are The Last of Us Part Two, Death Stranding, and Marvel Spider Man and Ghost of Tsunami or whatever how you pronounce that. Um, so and basically anybody that's you know really hyped about the PS5 announcement that is not happening. There will be no PlayStation 5 you know announcement there so don't expect that and i feel like you know it'd be too early for a playstation 5 because even though i've had my uh playstation 4 since uh 2015 i've had it for three years but i feel like it's it can still last longer and i i really enjoy the games on that so i'm not quite ready to buy a playstation 5 you know so yeah um <clears throat> I do, I do expect more Spider-Man gameplay, or like, I'm sure they'll uh, be presenting like a demo to the people there, to the fans. Um, that's what I expect. For The Last of Us Part 2, um, I, c I could see a little gameplay, you know, like maybe a, just like a 10 minute gameplay, you know, like kind of what they did with um, Uncharted, the... Uh, DLC for that. I feel like they could do that. And Death Stranding. I'm sure there's a lot of hype for that game. They'll be showing gameplay, I'm sure. And, uh, yeah. So, but those four games, I'm sure they'll show gameplay for the other game, too. Um, definitely, definitely a really good four game you know, main priority for PlayStation. I'm really excited for E3. <clears throat> if I had to make any, like, predictions, you know, it's really hard to predict what they're going to do. I mean, for Warner Bros., I mean, uh, for their Warner Bros. Montreal, or whatever, or Rocksteady, whatever they're doing, I do expect... A, a game announcement for Rocksteady, whether it's Superman or any superhero game, I expect Rocksteady to announce that at E3 2018. I also expect Warner Bros. Montreal, or um, yeah, I, I feel like they have they have to announce something. We've been waiting so long. Their last game that they did was a, it wasn't even a full game. It was a DLC of uh, Batgirl. So yeah, that's I mean they got they got to step up their game, you know. They they can't keep the fans waiting and if and if they do not announce something at E3, their whole reputation will be ruined, you know. Fans will be really angry at them and they they need to show us something. I don't care if it's cinematic teaser, I don't care if it's, you know, that it has to be something. And as for Marvel, um I expect the Avengers project, uh, probably another cinematic trailer, just showing us more of the characters, you know, that are in it. And as for, uh, yeah, back to Rocksteady, they they gotta announce something, man. They gotta announce something. Um, so yeah, that's that's basically what I wanted to talk about, just to summarize everything. I don't want to keep you guys waiting that long. Um. I will be doing gameplay of, I will be replaying Batman Arkham Knight, so look for that, and I'll be doing other games too. The reason why I'm replaying Batman Arkham Knight is, I've almost had the game for three years, it will be in, in June, it will be three years that I've had the game, and I feel like I just want to play it with you guys since I never got that chance. I'll be, I'll be playing DLC, I just bought Red Hood DLC, I have not played that, and I've also <clears throat> bought um, some other games that I've played like three years ago but you know it'd be awesome to play with you guys but anyways thank you guys for watching and i will see you guys in the next video